In this video, I'll show you how to use Arnold to create an infinite background. So let's get started. I'll start with adding a plane to be my floor. Then I'll add a simple cube to be my main object. I'm gonna resize it to small it down a bit. I'll use the place tool to place it above the plane. Now all we need to make the infinite background is Arnold's light, I'll use a quad light, and a background object. You'll find it here. If you don't find it, then press Ctrl B to show up your render setting and change your renderer from whatever it is to Arnold. Now head back again to this icon here and get your background object. Now let's set up our Arnold's light, click on it and then hit to light and then remove the check button from the viewport preview. Head back to the main tab, press E so we can move our light above our object. Let's finish setting up our light, click on it and then hit to look at tab, click on it and then grab your cube and drop it into the look at tab. Your quad light will look at the cube at all times. Now our final step would be making a flat material and it has to be a flat material so we can use it on the background so we can create our infinite background. Let's head to the material manager under create choose Arnold surface and we would pick two materials from here. We will need a shadow mat material and a normal shader network a standard surface one we can do it inside the standard surface or we can just go ahead and directly do it from here and choose the flat one. Now we'll have to apply the flat material to the background and the shadow mat to our plane. And let's see what we've got from Arnold's menu, choose IBR window. I'll increase the intensity to be around 30 and now from the flat material let's click on it with the scroll wheel so we get our shader network editor so we can change our infinite background color choose whatever color you like now let's confirm that everything is working perfectly yeah it is so to summarize everything so all you need to do is having your main source of light and then a shadow catcher and you would apply the shadow mat on it and then you would add a background object and on that background object you would add your flat material shader and you would get this infinite background thanks for watching